Hi there, Kawa here. So guys, we're back to our regular schedule of uh, talking about the weekly events. Uh, I have not viewed them all day, so I'm going to go through this with you guys. Uh, though, uh, Carla cheated already because I already see that we have new battle armor, and it is the one I've been waiting for. We get to wear the ramen outfit. The Ichiraku ramen outfit. I love the water main one for this. Um, that's just a disclaimer for you guys. The wind main one's pretty good too, but I like the water main better. And I will totally be wearing this outfit all the time. Uh, though the stats it gives not that important. It's 165 attack and 200 defense. Uh, nothing super amazing. So anyone who is not super hyped about it like I am, probably should avoid getting it right now. Wait till it comes back around. I'm pretty sure it's going to come back around. Um, if my suspicion is correct, this week is supposed to be um, the uh, Konoha Great Tree. That's probably where this is outfit's located. And it's going to probably like 5k about to get it. So, um, for those people who don't um, have the coupons to spend or, you know, don't think this is as important, uh, don't go for it. Um, and also, you know, people who are not super hyped about it should probably not go for it. Though, I will be definitely picking this up tomorrow. Alright, so, let's see what we've got. Uh, Weekly Strong Ninjas. We have Kakashi Susano, uh, Naruto, Sage of Six Paths, and uh, Hiruzen, Edo Tensei. So, nothing new today, um, ninja-wise. Uh, relatively standard stuff. They're going to keep selling this Naruto because everybody is... Talking about how OP he is, so what's the solution? Everybody gets the OP ninja, solves the problem. It kind of does in a way, but at the same time it doesn't. But yeah, uh, nothing super amazing here. I really wish they would just give us more skill books, but whatever. Uh, we have new ninjas to uh, befriend in the home system. We have Toby, Iruka, Roshi. Oh, I was supposed to say, who is this person? Oh, it's Yagura. <laughs> and we have Yukido. Uh, I still haven't finished the Madara Danzo Kimimaru one yet, so giving us more people is just gonna make me take longer, but whatever. I still have, like, excess amount of uh, certain items that, you know, I can just give to these guys, I guess, because, you know, uh, Danzo and them want very specific items. And I guess it doesn't hurt for us to get more of these. It, it's, like, tiny incremental boost in DP each time they level. It's, like, so minuscule, it's not even noticeable. It's like plus two BP, I think. Uh, but you know what? Anything is better than nothing, so I'm not gonna complain. Uh, let's see, what is this? We have Arena, no main mode. So, I'm guessing this is gonna rotate between this at the beginning of the month and 3v3 Arena towards the end of the month? Uh, so. So it's probably like this this month, this week, and then the following week is going to be two weeks of the 3v3 arena. Uh, I assume that's what it is. So, as the name implies, it's the arena with no mains. Uh, I already could see what everybody's going to do. It's probably going to be like Six Path Naruto all day. Uh, you can't use Chase. Well, yeah, you can't use the summon. And let's see what else you can't do in here. Wait, themed arena comprises the normal arena rules plus special ones. Okay. Uh, no main, blah blah blah. Can't use summon. Okay, only treasure tools. Okay. You gotta win a certain amount of matches, earn rewards, and then obtain a certain rank to obtain rewards. Okay, this seems like it could be kind of annoying, but uh, this is something I could film for you guys. Uh, I think I have a general idea what I might play in the arena. Uh, I'm not gonna share it, obviously, right now, because then the cat's out of the bag. Uh, so, be on the lookout for this. Um, I might just try to run it all at once, depending on uh, what the criteria of this um, arena is. If not, uh, I might just com yeah, I might just compile it into just one video. Uh, I'll maybe let you guys vote on it, depending, you know, after I see what it looks like uh, tomorrow. So let's see here. We have Platinum Recharge. Uh, this is what the one that's... A daily? Yeah, this is a daily recharge. Uh, let's see what we have here. Uh, nothing good, nothing good. Well, it's not that it's nothing good, it's just a 
is the smaller amounts. So if you guys are recharging like small amounts, I guess this doesn't hurt. Uh, though I obviously see down here that we have the anniversary red envelopes. So for people who are recharging, this is a good way to recharge because you have the envelope and then you have the platinum recharge. And I clearly can see that the Naruto is down here. Uh, so let's see what's it, 10 and 20. So it's probably six days recharge. Or is it going to be like a three day and then I'll make you do the rest? Uh, but yeah, for those people who don't have Naruto, this is a good chance to pick him up. You recharge, you can get his X amount of frags. I'm not going to even say 80 because uh, I don't, if you, you know, if this one pays out at like three or four, you probably should just stop instead of going to picking up these 10 frags. Because he's showing up so often, you can just, you know, do whatever the cap is for this event, so that, you know, you get the ultimate treasure tool, uh, essence, and then, um, just stop. But yeah, great time to pick him up. Uh, you also have the anniversary red envelope, so just make sure you're not recharging all at once in one day. Just split it up throughout the days, so you can get the max amount of rebates out of it. Uh, crazy slot machine. Uh, let's see. 14 through 16. So it doesn't stack on to the envelope. Uh, so for people who are recharging, I would tell you to definitely not do it during this time frame. The slot machine. Avoid it. Uh, and do it for the red envelopes. The, you know, the red envelopes paying back out coupons is way better than this garbage <laughs> that you get from the slot machine. It's really bad. And I won't suggest people to do it. Alright, moving forward, we have Time Limited Shop, the spending one, right? Yeah, this is the spending one. And we have the same payouts as last time. Uh, though I don't know what this is. What is this? Limited Summon Pack? The hell is a Limited Summon Pack? Um, I don't know, actually, I have no idea what this is. Uh, but, let's see, I got my Heroes in up to 4 stars last time for this event. I already have uh, Geratora, or however you pronounce that thing. Um, I don't know, depending what it, what I do, is I'm going to get the ramen outfit. Uh, I might I might be tempted to get the remaining frags from my Sasuke Susano, so I can finish his books, even though, yet again, I'm not in a rush to do it. Or I might just pick up these charm packs. The alternative is to pick up these explosive heart packs, and uh, five star my, or it's not even five stars. It's gonna be like halfway to it. So work on getting five stars on my Edo De Dara, or work on getting five stars for my uh, Grudge Fear Kakuzu. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. Uh, I'll probably put up a poll for you guys, um, and I'll give you guys an estimation of how many points I'm expecting, and you guys let me know because it, it really doesn't matter. I don't need anything from here. Exactly, and um, and uh, you know it's probably good to let you guys pick. All right, so moving on. So I was right that there is a Konoha Great Tree. Uh, I suspected it was going to show up because we haven't seen it for about a month. So this is definitely where the battle armor is located, unless it's down here in that treasure of the sage. I want to believe it's not, and I want to believe it's the tree. So Kakashi's probably located in here. Unless he's located in the... No, no, he has me in here. Yeah, he has me in here. He's definitely in here. Um, this event is always, like, iffy. Because sometimes they put, like, advanced refines and threads in, like, the lower levels. And I personally like to partake in it. So I do, like, the lower levels to gather some advanced refines and stuff from it. Spend, like, a minimum amount of coupons just to get it. Um... Because the higher parts, I don't have anything I want. It's just like ninja frags or like people that I probably have at like four stars already. It doesn't matter to me. So, uh, the thing I personally like to do is, like I said, to spend like a little bit into it so that I can get like the clear of the lower level. So I start getting some, uh, because it gives unbound scrolls, advanced refines, and threads. So I personally like picking at it. Um, for people who don't have coupons to spare like that. Probably avoid it. There's nothing, you know, it's not super stellar of an event. Uh, okay, let's see. Treasure of the Sage. Uh, let me double check. Nothing random is located in here. I do 
not see anything about battle armor being in here, though I do notice that Anbu Itachi is here. And contracting scrolls, for those people who are interested in getting the Lightning Tiger. Um, I don't suggest anyone do that. But, uh, Anbu Itachi, nah, I was thinking, do I want him? But I'm like, nah, probably not. Uh, I, I could probably five star him free throughout picking up stuff from events. So yeah, as usual, this event is one of those that, you know, you don't buy anything unless you get a rebate on it or, or, or a discount. And you aim for like the highest amount you can get. If you get like a 10%, I wouldn't bother with it. Um, but I'm clearly right now on the lookout for purification runes, uh, protection ones. Uh, if I spot them for about 30% off, I might jump on it. Uh, 40%, 90% chance I would jump on it, and it, like, if I hit the 50% jackpot one, I would definitely be buying all of them. So it's different for everybody, you know, if you spot something you actually need, you should probably get it if it's on sale. Uh, that's only really true for power options, don't go buying, like, seal scrolls. I, I hit seal scrolls at, like, 40% off multiple times, and I just look at them like, I don't need these. <laughs> what a waste of ingots and coupons. Alright, so we got the, what's this? Joni Meadow Renewal. Um, not much to say here. You know, if you have a Joni Meadow, you probably should get, you know, do this at least once so that you can get some more time on it because you get back a total of, what is this? 50% of the ingots. Yeah, you have about 50% of your ingots back as coupons. So, it, it, and this shows up like every like about, I want to say roughly two to three months. So, uh, if your uh, metal is going to expire soon, it, this will be the perfect time to renew it. I personally would always keep my metal active because I'm very lazy and I don't like to, you know, manually do all these events when I don't have to. And uh, it also got the, you know, the recharge rebate. And then you also got the spending rebate with the uh, point limited the point shop. So I might have to check off on my metal uh, if I'm getting close. I'm gonna definitely do this so that I, you know, renew this, get back some coupons, and get points on the limited point shop. So get some benefits on both sides. But I have to see how many days I have left on my metal. All right, so Miyaboku trial. Uh, arguably one of the best free-to-play options ever. <laughs> well, free-to-play events ever, because it gives you free coupons and free things every day, and you really can't complain about it. I personally like to spend the extra, what is it, 15, 25, what is it, 20. So I spend like the extra 35 ingots every day to collect the extra coupons and all the, all the extra stuff. Um, you don't have to do the same thing as me, but I like to. I like the free stuff. It's just me. Uh, let's see what we got here. We got Mogi's frags. I thought we got this already. Or am I remembering wrong? No, I think we, I'm pretty sure we got her already. So I guess they're just giving her out again. I would really prefer that they will switch it up for like a skill book or something. But eh, whatever. Beggars can't be choosers. Uh, and always I like to spend the wheel offerings every day, one time, for the 100 coupons because whatever it gives back out is usually worth more than your um, input of 100. So if you have the 100 coupons to spare, uh, I would definitely spin it because you know you also get coupons for doing the event itself. So it mitigates the cost of doing the wheel. And you know, it, it, it occasionally spits out some really good stuff. All right, uh, summon rebate, nothing special here. Uh, do the 400 if you can. If not, just save it for next time. Uh, and, yeah, if you do the 400, I hope you guys are getting to that King of Hell and the Kirin summon soon. Because if you can meet the requirements every month, I think I said it takes, I think the math was like, 8 months or something like that to get the, one of the super rares? Yeah, I think it was something like that. But the math might be a little off these days, because it was like back in 1.0 when I did this math. Uh, okay, cave rebate. So this is the event that I guess everybody's been waiting for. Uh, our nice power rebate. Uh, definitely always, like I say, do at least a thousand 
50 uh, pulls in these to essence. I'm going for the 2100. I have the keys stored up. Um, and, you know, I just buy my keys from the grocery store. I don't go out of my way and buy them in events. And it hasn't failed me yet. Uh, but I'm probably going to slow down a little bit as soon as I'm done with the tool treasures. Uh, the treasure tools for my position 2. Once I get that one complete, I'm going to slow down my key consumption to probably a thousand. And then work on some other functions too that are starting to stagger behind. Uh, wishing lanterns, let me see here, you know, you just press the enter and, and let it go, get the coupons at the end of the day. Uh, this event is just one of those, ugh. I, I understand it's like, it's free stuff, but it's like, ugh. It could be better, but whatever. Uh, because, hey, look, there's a worse event under it. There's the Tail Beast attack. This event I personally find really bad. The prices are ridiculous. Um, it doesn't give anything amazing. It's just overall bad. But hey, maybe they can be uh, amazing this time. Maybe they change the prices on me. Um, so that's another thing, guys. Uh, I'm probably going to do a part 2 video for this tomorrow after I see the prices. Because right now, this is just a you know summary to me. I, I can't pinpoint exactly what's great. But uh, I already can tell you, you know, because most of these events don't have any price-related options outside of the tree. And at the tail beast attack, uh, it'll be a really quick video because everything else is like a rebate of some sorts that doesn't involve prices. And then the sage uh, treasure one, that one is something that depends on what you need. So yeah, that should be it. Uh, we found out we we know where everybody is, right? Yeah, we. No, Naruto is the recharge. Hiruzen is in the point tr uh, store. And Kakashi is probably at the tree. Unless they decided to put him in the Tail Beast attack. Which is equally bad and I do not care for. So, yeah, there's probably going to be a part two tomorrow, guys, uh, where I'm just going to analyze some of the prices, but it's going to be a relatively quick one because I already told you more or less there's only two events that will really require that, and that's the Tail Beast attack and the uh, tree. Yeah, and then, um, look out for my poll that I'm going to put up. Uh, I'm going to ask you guys what I should do with the time limited shop. Uh, obviously, buying the summon and buy, you know, going for the Hiruzen is not going to be <laughs> on the poll. It's really just between Sasuke, Charm Packs, and uh, the Explosive Heart Gift Pack. Uh, but yeah, be on the lookout for that. Uh, I'm going to let you guys decide what I'm going to do with that. Alright, so till next time, have fun guys.